Post Bank in Nigeria. We are coming together to say the future of our of the next generation come first, where we are concerned. So we are starting with the career fair on the 6th of November, and uh, the 7th and 8th of November we will have the Universal Bank Research and Development Fair. This actually is the third edition of the UI of, uh, of UI Research and Development Fair. And the idea behind UI Research and Development Fair is to bring the town and gown together. Uh, historically, we in the Ivory Tower, we do our things. We seem to be insulated from, say, from the environment. When you talk about the environment, you're talking about industries, we're talking about governments, we are talking about the populace. We seem to live in our own special cocoon. And uh, if you know, I mean, the mission and vision of Universal Banu is uh, we are for academic excellence geared towards meeting societal needs. How can we meet societal needs if we don't relate with them? So URSDEF was conceived by the current Vice Chancellor and we had the first edition in 2016. And the idea is to not only when you carry out research, it's supposed to impact your immediate environment, uh, but you need to let them know that, oh, this is available. And R&D, uh, development even in the, in, the, in the country is actually driven by research, should be driven by research. And so it's an opportunity for us to bring out all the things we've been doing over the years or within the year, the past one year, and to showcase them, number one. Uh, and what that achieves is, number one, to foster collaboration even within the university campus. Because the funny thing about it is that I can be carrying out a research that has complementary harm somewhere else, and I might not know because I'm just doing it in my own laboratory. So when you bring out your research, you find people that are in tangential field that can actually enrich their research opportunity. So that is the first thing. The second thing is um, uh, people from outside, we invite a lot of external people, governments, industries to come uh, to partner with us. Uh, one of the ones that we're a bit excited about, last year, the chairman of the UI Research and Development Fair uh, was uh, the MDC, no, no, I think it was the keynote speaker, was the MDC, or was the MDC of Flower Mills, Nigeria. And uh, at the end of it, during this year now, we have, it, it has, we have an endowed chair by that company. And what the endowment is for is that uh, they want a research. We know what flower mills of Nigeria, what they do. What they do is they are the ones that produce all these, our food items, all these pasta and all those things. But they also produce changing, you know, for marketable, they market changing. But what they are, the endowed chair is in food technology. What that uh, professor will be doing all year, what they are funding him to do is to develop indigenous snacks. So instead of changing, we we'll we'll have kokoro, we have uh, kuli kuli and those things, and that will be marketed. And so that is the what we are talking about, town gang relationship. Uh, the other thing that happened from last year is that uh, it was at the, the, the Stambic, uh, MDC of Stambic IBTC, Dr. Shogule was one that chaired the occasion. And at that event, if you have a first class student in UI, they can come in and have their internship with them. So if we don't interact, then we cannot both the town and the ground. And that is what UI Research and Development is doing. Uh, a fair is uh, open to achieve. And this year we are having another edition on the eighth, the eighth, I mean the seventh is the opening ceremony. Of course, we have an exhibition on that day, but of course you will start with uh, the opening ceremony, keynote speeches and stuff like that. And then uh, we have the actual ceremony. I mean the second day will also be exhibitions. And we are inviting secondary school, primary schools, because not only are we relating with uh, the industry, we are relating with our immediate environment as well. We want to, we want these kids to be to be sensitized. We want them to be able to come to the university and want to come to university. So not only are we interacting for the benefit of the university, we are also reaching as more or less like a couple to charge the next generation, um, stimulate in what we're doing in this. And for, when they come for this, they can say, okay, I want to be a doctor. Based on just attending UI Research and Development Fair, I want to be an agree person on that. So that is what a UI Research and Development Fair is about. Well, it's for graduating students, because if you have a tutorial level attend the career fair, it's still stuck in the university for the next two, three years. So it doesn't really gain anything from attending the career fair. So it's for our graduating students. Uh, but like, I am a mother, and one thing that is really painful for me uh, that I see in this generation is that the way we raise them, they do not take responsibility. And for me, I, I think as a university, we are not only training them, uh, we say our degrees are awarded in character and learning. So part of character doesn't mean we mis misbehave. Part of character means raising responsible um, 
in career and candidacy, a prep uh, kind of a workshop for them to tell them, oh, how do you attend an interview? What, what, how do you prepare CV? That happened on July 17th uh, for, for postgraduate students. And so what I had them do was, okay, I get sent a template out and say, submit uh, your CV as a sign of, a sign that you are interested in attending. And it was for just for to be for two weeks. But I want to let you know that after the first two weeks elapsed, out of over 3,000, I only had 400 students sign up, which to me was very, very disappointing. Because one thing I've come to realize in life is not your aptitude. It's not your intellect that determines how far you go in life. It's more or less your aptitude. And that really, for me, was, I, I said I was not going to extend, but I just felt, okay, what is the point of having it if I don't extend? And we only have 400 students attend out of 3,000. So we extended for, for another week, I mean two weeks, and then it closed on the 5th of October. 1,236 students signed up. That's just how. That is still not good enough. Uh, but up to this morning, I still had the students. First offer, submit CV almost two, two weeks after the deadline has elapsed. For me, it's very disappointing. And uh, it's a sign of um, parenting failure because you have to realize that every opportunity comes it might not it might come again but it will take a while for it to come again so i i think uh, for me that is one of the lessons i learned that you need to raise children that take us to the future we have a generation that uh, we put feed the bottle in their mouth they wear pampas before they're out of school you are parked your car you're waiting for them we are taking responsibility out of them i know this is way out of what but it's something that i think parents need to hear and know so we have 1236 students sign up and i've said if you didn't sign up, you are not attending. So we are taking measures to be sure that only those students attend. Um, and we have a lot of really good organizations coming. Uh, very, very good. I can mention a few of them. Uh, we have a Price Water Cooper coming. We have Deloitte. This, uh, the agreement we, we brokered with the First Bank Nigeria, who have been this, is that they don't want any other financial institution. It's fine because they are, they are putting the money down to do it. And I'm, I'm very, very certain next year it will not be the same thing because I've had so many organizations contact me and say, but we want to do something too. And I said, well, not this year, not anymore. So I'm very sure once we're doing this next year, First Bank, it's either they sign MOU to knock it down or they are going to run for their money next year. Because yesterday, Flam is so, I mean, the joint bottling company still calls me, but we want to do something. How much do we need to give you to make it happen? Which is good. Most of the time, we don't realize that we have a capacity as an institution uh, to broker partnership instead of begging for money. And that is what we are trying to achieve, to make sure it's a partnership, not a give us money kind of a relationship. So we have Flam in Nigeria. I've already mentioned their name. We have uh, Slumberger coming. We have Dubri Hall coming. We have, uh, if I can remember, Talent Mine. Uh, Talent Mine is an organization that recruits for Bank of America, that recruits essentially for outside of the country. So we have, I uh, have like, we are shooting for like 50, but we're able to get like 30, 35. That would be fantastic. So we have a lot of, and because you are as a conservative uh, university work that has discipline from uh, from far and wide, we know that we, the, the, the people we uh, invited also cut across. We asked Chris Lamb School coming, group of schools, because they have people in education. Uh, fisting drugs, we have um, a drug field, we have uh, animal care consults, we have, uh, I can't even remember all of them. We have quite a number of organizations that are going to attend, apart from First Bank, of course.